Let's take a look at division with remainder with dividend up to 1,000. Okay, they asked us to divide 58 divided by 5. Okay, and we want to know what number it's going to be with what remainder. Okay, so you can write your division like this. I think it's a little easier, especially when you have remainders, if you write it this way, just because it shows the thinking a little bit more. So I'm going to write this as a long division problem, 58 divided by 5. Okay, and then I'm going to say, well, how many times does 5 go into 5, right? And then I would keep working my way down as many place values as it has. Well, 5 goes into 5 one time. Notice I'm lining that 1 up over the 5 to show that that's the number it goes into. 1 times 5 gives me 5, so if I subtract the 5, I have 0 left over. Now I would bring down my next digit, which is 8. Well, 5 only goes into 8 one time. 5 times 1 is 5. So if I subtract my 5, that means I have 3 left over. Now this number that I have left over would be my remainder. So it went in 11 times, right? 11 times 5 would be 55 with 3 left over. So I can say 11 remainder 3. Okay, and hopefully that remainder part makes sense. That's what I have left over that did not divide evenly. So if I said 11 times 5, that gives me 55. So 5 goes into 58 11 times to give us 55, and then we still have another 3 left over out of our 5, or out of our 58. So we're going to say 11 remainder 3. 84 divided by 4. Okay, well let's see, let's divide 84 divided by 4. Okay, well 4 goes into 8 two times. Right, 2 times 4 is 8. So that leaves nothing left over, and I would bring down my 4. 4 goes into 4 one time with nothing left over. So if you get nothing left over, this is the same thing as saying remainder 0. It basically means it divides evenly, right? So 4, 84 divided by 4 is exactly 21 or 21 remainder 0. Fifty six divided by 4 equals 14 remainder what? So they're giving us part of this answer, right? If we divided 56 divided by 4, they're telling us that 4 goes into 56 14 times. So to figure out the remainder, I would want to say, well, what is 4 times 14 and subtract it from 56 to see what I'm left with. So they did the first part of the problem for us. And now I would say, okay, well, what is 4 times 14? 4 times 4 is 16. So 6 and we'd carry the 1. 4 times 1 is 4 plus the 5. So 4 times 14 is exactly 56. So we're left with 0. That means it divides evenly. 56 divided by 4 is exactly 14. Or another way to say that is 14 remainder 0. Twenty four divided by seven equals three remainder what? Okay, so if we looked at this problem and we said twenty four divided by seven, well, seven is going to go into twenty four three times, right? That's what they're telling us. Now, three times seven would be twenty one. So I would subtract that from my twenty four and be left with another three. So that means my answer would be three remainder. Okay, the remainder is what's left over, which is another 3. 85 divided by 2 equals 42 remainder what? Okay, so basically they're telling us if we divide 85 divided by 2, we're going to get 42. But we want to see if there's a remainder. Well, what's 42 times 2? 42 times 2 is 84. So if I subtract that from my 85, I'm left with 1. 
So that one would be the remainder. So I would say 42 remainder one.